What's up, everyone? Backcraft. That's right. It's Bo here from the TV Talk Podcast, and I am inside my base uh, in in the Orpheum, uh, the theater. And you know, I've mentioned this on a previous episode, but I've been kind of going thinking about what it might be like to actually turn this into an actual theater and move the storage. And as you can see, I've moved the storage, almost all of it. And I've actually moved it up here and I think it's worked out pretty well. So originally my goal, as you can kind of see, is to, was to have like a whole storage system. I was gonna build a bunch of these. It was gonna go far back. I was gonna have like a double chest for pretty much all these different items. Yeah, and I never did it. I absolutely never did it. Um, it just didn't make any sense. And it was just taking up a ton of room. So yeah, I started moving everything else up here and pretty much gave almost everything its own chest. And voila, there is a lot more storage now. I mean, you know, I, I think I'm going to be set for the rest of the season because I haven't even scratched the surface. I haven't even made it halfway point. And I've already kind of sorted pretty much all of the main items that I use. And then if, you know, I've got some double up in here, for example, like, you know, this is all cobbled deep slate, but this is like a sorted deep slate. And so if this ends up filling back up, well, then, you know, I could start spreading, you know, separating the deep slate out and making like a deep slate section over there. So there's a lot of, a lot of sections, a lot of uh, different items we could use. And I think that'll be great. And it gives me the opportunity to do kind of rethink the interior and make this a real full fledged theater with a stage and everything. You know, I'm already kind of seeing what it might like thinking what it might be like to have like rows and rows of seating, kind of where this piano is, kind of have a bit of a raised stage right here, possibly even push this walkway back by a little bit because I definitely don't need as much of the walk room that I have right now. I mean, look at this. This is <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I mean, like, you know, at the same time I want to kind of include balcony seating up here and maybe even raised balcony seeking. Oh, I'm just, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, that could be kind of cool too. And so it would also hide the storage behind it. Hmm. All right, yeah. So a lot of cool ideas, a lot of cool ideas, but there's a lot of things that we need to do today. Uh, first things first is we need to pay a visit to Will's city. Now, as you may recall, uh, with, uh, with Will, we had this little floating platform. It was a little bit of a cold war. We got it all worked out because we built him a plane. And uh, it, it worked out all great. You know, this is no longer an eyesore, and it's been kind of the symbol of unity between our two cities. Well, Will decided to up the ante, and in fact, has now built an entire, or is in the process of building, an entire airport. Look at this. He's got one of the tower things and everything. Oh, I love this. So this is kind of like this big you know, airport that essentially is kind of this, this hub. It's technically in uh, Coast City. Well, I mean, you know, again, is it in Coast City? There's, there's still this kind of question of like, where do city limits lie? But regardless, it's, it's right here in the middle of our bases and what was once the neutral territory. And I have, I have no problem with this. I think this is great. I think this is awesome. And I think it looks really, really cool. It's massive. And so I'm really looking forward to, uh, yeah, to having this here. Although I have to say that there is something that I found a little bit concerning, and that is that it leaves this massive wall right here, which lends itself to graffiti. And in fact, somebody has already graffitied this wall. Eobard was right. About what? What? Who did this? Who? What? What? This isn't. This isn't even. This is barely on brand. I don't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, <laughs> all kidding aside, I actually think that, um, ooh, yikes. I think that having, ooh, ouch, I am about to die and I have no food. All kidding aside, I actually really do like the idea of this like big wall right here in between the two areas because it does lend itself to being kind of an awesome area for some uh, fun graffiti. Uh, you know, one of the things that I mentioned is that I wanted to kind of capture different locations from different cities as part of New New York Town. And I've been struggling a little bit with some different cities. Uh, and one of those was Athens. Although now that I say that, I realize that the building that I'm building over there is from Athens. Anyway, regardless, in Athens, they have this massive graffiti culture. Now, as I understand it, which is not very much, that's like a highly like contentious issue or very like politicized issue in Athens, which I don't understand. So I'm not trying to advocate necessarily for or against whatever the situation is in Athens. I'm just saying I was in Athens and there was a ton of graffiti and it was commented on by a lot of people. Athens isn't the only place with graffiti. I mean, after all, you know, New Orleans has a lot of graffiti. Memphis has a lot of graffiti. All these, every city has graffiti. Okay. Every city does here in Houston. We've got tons of great graffiti. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Anyway, point is, I think it'd be awesome if this became kind of like 
a graffiti wall right here on the side, uh, especially since it is the side that faces New New York Town. So anyway, uh, despite this um, concerning message that we find right here, I do think that it's a cool idea, and I just want to—I'm going to check with Will, and if he's cool with it, I might try to either stone or concrete up the wall a little bit, and possibly even offer to the rest of the backcrafters anybody that kind of wants to like add some messaging or graffiti. They can even like—you can even graffiti over graffiti, right? Kind of like we did over here with this uh, Fox Memorial, right? You had the Fox Hero, and then somebody came along and put a little question mark. It was me. I did the question mark. That was me. And so, yeah, so like, you know, I like the idea of that, that being the case, but I want to make sure it's cool with Will. I don't want it to interfere with his actual build, which looks awesome. I was just thinking it might be cool for the, the side that faces New New York Town. So we'll see. We'll see what he ends up saying. Ouch. Why? Why do I keep hurting myself this episode? I need to be careful about this. Uh, all right. So that is that. And this is this. I have got on me right now two shulkers filled with some good stuff, specifically building materials to work on the next project that we are working on for Wayne Manor. Transition over to Gotham City. Now, last week we finished building both the kitchen and the wine cellar of Wayne Manor. And I'll just go right here through the window. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Let's, before we do that, let's pull back. So this is just the interior, right? And um, I think we, if we wanted to, uh, I think we could probably get okay to like build the exterior ourselves, but I really don't want to mess up kind of the flow of what's going on with the exterior. I think it's really cool if there's like one person who's working on the exterior to kind of maintain that throughout, or even if there's a team working on the exterior, I think, I think it's best if they do that. And I think one of the best ways that we can continue to contribute is just working on the interior. And so as you can see, this really just turned out great. I added a little smoke coming from the oven just to kind of add a little bit of life into the overall kitchen. I think I th threw a couple more eggs here and there, and I, it just looks wonderful. Now the fire, I don't believe that messed up anything down below. We had to kind of cover it up with the trap door, but, um, and you do, you can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear it up there, but I think that's okay. I think that's okay. And the wine cellar, I just, I just really love, I, you know, I've loved this so much. I've considered what it might be like, like right outside of new New York town to op like to put a, like a vineyard of some sorts. I don't know. I was just thinking that could be kind of cool. Maybe like, maybe Wayne, um, you know, uh, maybe Wayne is at, like owns a vineyard out in our, uh, in our neck of the woods. And that's where he gets his, his wine that fills up this kind of custom large barrel down here. That could be kind of cool. I don't know. There's something to think about. Something to think about. I just, I just really enjoy that so much. But today we're working on this room right here. Huh. Now it doesn't look like much. It doesn't look like much at all because it's not. Right now it's nothing. It's just a big open space. But this is set to be the ta -da, great hall, formal dining, entertaining, etc. We need an impressive doorway or entrance. So this is, as the signs say, going to be the Great Hall. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of seeing it as this nice big dining area. I'm kind of seeing a very long table with lots of different places to sit at. Maybe a buffet up against this wall right here. Possibly some kind of coat of arms maybe even hanging up. And definitely a different color than this one right here. Because you see, with this... This kind of light blue terracotta works really well in the kitchen. It has kind of that fresh, kind of early morning feel. You know, you get your know, kitchen staff's waking up, got to get into the kitchen, got to get get cracking. This is this is what you want. You want kind of a nice, soothing feel. But I'm thinking that the great hall needs to be, you know, just like like a power statement. You know what I mean? Like like you walk in and it's like it needs to communicate a sense of power, regality. This is where you're coming to entertain. You have all of your different business associates and. And uh, different folks, you know, or, or rather I say you, Mr. Wayne does. Yeah, Mr. Wayne, he's going to have everybody coming in. You know, the mayor is going to come through and, you know, all of these different folks are going to walk through the door like, oh, oh, hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, you have a fox over there. That's uh, that's eccentric. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, what, what? oh, the dining hall. Oh, this is where we're going to eat our dinner. No, oh, Mr. Wayne. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I think that'll be great. I think that'll be great. So I've got an idea for how to do it and it's going to be a little darker. It's going to be a little bit more powerful and it's going to have a lot of seats to host a lot of different folks. 
So let's go ahead and jump into it and see how far we get. Let's go. Right. Did we just see that? I think I think we just saw that. Uh, bu- 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 okay, okay, okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Please don't be in the kitchen. Please don't be in the kitchen. Oh, you're in the kitchen! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. After all of that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. We good? We good? We breathing? Everybody breathing? We doing okay? I think we're doing okay. Um, yeah. So the dining room's finished. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <sighs> we need to light up, I guess, the roof. I guess that's that's the problem at the moment is lighting up the roof. Although we want to make sure everything is well lit too. Uh, ta-da! This is the great hall, the dining area, if you will. Now, as you can see, we've got a large table set for many people, although Bruce Wayne has no friends. We know this, he's a recluse, but regardless, he's, he's got, if he ever did make some friends, if he had like a whole family, like a bat family, they'd be able to come and, and eat and they'd be set. They've got all the, all the good food. We got uh, kind of a, a buffet table right here with some nice greenery. I was thinking like, you know, a W, we need to kind of incorporate like a Wayne W or something. That's currently what I've got just because we are going with a a two as opposed to like a central, you know, we got kind of two block center as opposed to like one, one center here. And so, yeah, but I think, I think it works out pretty well. Got our chandeliers such as they are. I've never been great at chandeliers, but hopefully those look okay. And I've got a... Uh, what do you call this? This is a fireplace. I got a fireplace. Now I know we've got a fireplace in the library, but I figure, you know what? Why not? We probably need multiple fireplaces throughout as an old, old castle manor house type situation. There would have been uh, a lot of fireplaces around. So I think this would make some sense. The only thing is I'm a little nervous because when I was kind of like testing this whole design, I, um, well, I lit the fire and it lit everything on fire. Like it actually like the, the wood and the floor and the carpet all caught fire and it was a mess, but I think I've done everything that I need to underneath it so that it should not catch fire. Like specifically, oh, that is wood. Oh, but that's not right. Yes. Okay, good. So I, I don't know if this diagonal thing is going to be a problem. I don't think it will be, but we'll find out and we will find out right <sighs> now. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Fire is lit. Is anything catching fire? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Yes, we seem to be okay. Good, good, good. I don't think I don't think the other side would be a problem, would it? No. Okay, good deal. And as you can see, we're continuing on our mindset here, right? Like we've got a whole layer for the exterior to be built up around the room, and it's just the interior that is uh, filled in here and designed and ready to go. Okay, great. Look, yeah, that's looking that's looking real nice. Okay. You know, I was thinking we could do like banners up here or some sort of banner imagery, maybe of a W or of like a Wayne coat of arms type situation. Maybe some banners over here or maybe just some big like paintings. I am not sure. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now. 
Uh, also, I wasn't quite sure how the roof is gonna be done, so I just went ahead and kind of eyeballed this little beam right here, and if we need to change that up, I'm sure that won't be a problem. My also thought is if we need to, you know, I'm, I'm assuming we'll be increasing this to some extent, but if that's not the case, we can adjust the coat of arms as is, but you know, it is, it is what it is. I think it's good, I think it's good. Maybe paintings right there. Maybe, I don't know, some lanterns. I don't know, I don't know. But I think we're good. I think we can call this done. I think we did a good job. Although, you know, we could do a little buffet here, but no, 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 I mean, like it is a buffet, but like we could put food here and everything. I just don't think that's necessary. But one thing that is definitely necessary is we're gonna need to torch this place up at the top to make sure that we don't have another creeper situation because that was terrifying. All the little details in here. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is not like the most detailed build, but at the same time, I don't know. It's just like when you've you've got something and you're proud of it. Not to mention, like, what if it what if it blew a hole in the in the the winery? The what do you call this thing? The uh, cellar, the wine cellar. That would be terrible. We don't want that. Nobody wants that. At one point, we had like some complimentary torches. I wonder, do we still have that at all? I think these I think these chests have been here since like day one. Oh, oh, this is the launcher. Hang on. Do I? Yeah. Okay. I heard about this. Will has created some sort of like launcher here. Let's stand here. Oh, I don't know if it's working or not. Hang on. Let's, let's try to figure this out. Okay. I'm going to back into it and, oh, wow. Okay. Yep. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. Fair enough. Maybe I should just carpet it for now. Although I feel like torches would be much more effective. I just don't have any torches on me. Oh, wait, maybe I do in my ender? No. Got to fly all the way back home and hello, Allen Co. Okay, all right, hello. This has clearly moved here. Okay, so to give some perspective, uh, you know, we had the Valenco blimp. It was right outside of Wayne Manor. It was used for the uh, kind of our, our viewing platform for the fireworks display. You know, it's notable that it is Valenco owned and operated. And as you can see, my lawn chairs are still on it. So that's kind of nice, but it's no longer in Gotham. I thought this was going to move to Gotham uh, corporate district, but apparently no, it's, it's making, um, it's making moves. And, and so just to kind of give you an idea, this, this, this path right here, that goes all the way to Gotham. And this path right here is very close to new New York town. So that seems concerning. I don't know. I don't know. At the same time, Valenco really hasn't done anything not like notorious, although we still don't know who's responsible for setting off raids in New York town. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's just fine. It's probably fine. It's fine. Okay. We're just going to spam torches on the edge here. This is just, ah, really just placeholder type of stuff. No more creepers. That's all we want is just no creepers. I'm actually not sure what the condition of the room is in terms of if it's bright enough. I could put, like I've got a little mat right there by the thing. I could put a little mat right there and then light it up underneath. That might be a good idea. There we go. <laughs> just nervous. Just nervous. I guess it's actually, we sleep so much. So maybe it's actually good just to let this thing be at night and kind of get a sense of what it is. Oh yeah, this this is great. This looks good, you know? You got, uh, I don't know if Wayne would sit, he'd probably sit over there, right? Or uh, is it cooler? You know, let's try to get a sense of what it's like sitting in the big chair. Okay, all right, you got a little fireplace behind you and everything, and if you had a coat of arms, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know, maybe. And then you got the kitchen right there, so, you know, if, if I, I'd like to order wine for the table, please, and they run, oh, yes, Mr. Wayne, right here, and then we go, they can go straight in, so that would make some sense. You know, get, get uh, direct orders very quickly from that standpoint. And, yeah, I think that's the, that would be the, consider the head of the table, and I guess this would be the, the, the foot, the boot, okay? This is the boot of the table. <laughs> it's like, Mr. Wayne's all the way down there, and I'm over here. This is where I sit. This is at the foot of the table, right here. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Well. The, the real question, I suppose, next is, do we want to do another room here or a project back home? I've been enjoying this so much, honestly. Like, I've really been, you know, I think in New York Town, I've been putting off interiors. And so, like, 
here, like just focusing on interiors for the team build has been kind of this weird <laughs> situation, right? Like, like I haven't done much interior wise for my own base, but I've done it for the team builds. I, I don't know. It's a, it's kind of a good outlet for, for maybe what's, what's been lacking in my life. A breakfast room. Huh? I, I don't even know what I would do for a breakfast room. I have to think about that. Billiards room. Oh, that's cool. That'd be pretty sweet. Huh? A billiards room. This would be a tight space to, to put a billiards room, but that might be a fun challenge. Actually. I kind of like that idea. Foyer, ballroom, ballroom would be nice and large. This could be kind of cool. Although I feel like I brought some of that ballroom energy into the great hall. Although I don't know, maybe in a ballroom, it would have more of like a wooden paneled type of thing going on. Kind of like, kind of like this design actually out here that ooh, whomever did this, uh, I don't, I can't remember who it is, but like the way in which it's kind of textured and paneled and kind of, you know, you get, get kind of the interior area and the exterior area, maybe something like that for a ballroom would be really cool. Just on the inside as opposed to the outside. And then I think I, somebody's clearly already working on this. I don't know. Actually, somebody might be working on all this for your drawing room or parlor. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking billiard room. Ooh, another goat. Well, well, hello, Mr. Goat. Um, I'm glad you're here, Mr. Goat, because you see, I would like some better sounding horns. Don't, don't go anywhere. Okay. So our method with the last goat was like, we basically had him down in the cellar and then finally he got mad. He didn't have anywhere to go, else to go. So we just kind of rammed into like a really tight space. So I wonder, <gasps> hello, Mr. Goat. Oh yeah. This is great. This is great. This will be good. Can you breed goats? Be, be fun to breed some goats. Okay. I need a little bit more room so I can dodge you when the time comes. What? What? Oh, 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 they jump. I didn't know they jumped. Yo, you, that was cool. Okay. I didn't know y'all jumped. That was new to me. All right. So we got to go. We got to go deeper. There we go. Maybe that's high enough so that he won't jump out. Come on. Come on. Get mad. Get mad. What? 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 What on earth just happened? <sighs> okay, that was a massive waste of time. Oh wow. Okay. Well, huh? Let's light up our goat chamber. It did nothing for us. Unbelievable. Yeah, you go away. I don't. I don't even. I don't even care about you anymore. Stupid goat. All right, so um, yeah, I was going to check the billiard, the, the board rather, to see if the billiard room was taken. Let's see. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. There we go, billiard room. Sweet. Oh, awesome. All right, little tiny room. Have to uh, kind of mess around with that design, see what we come up with. But I do think that is going to get it for us today. Uh, got a whole new dining area established here at Wayne Manor, and things are looking good at New New York Town, despite constant raids and all that kind of things. Well, yeah, it's fine. It'll be fine. Uh, I don't know what we'll do next week. Next week might be the billiard room, or it may be the Orpheum interior, but we are in very much interior modes right now on Backcraft, and that is okay. So that's going to do it for me for today, but until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.